All right, so today we are going to be styling my kitchen counters. Now we have lived here for six months. Some of the counters, I like the way they are. Some of them feel too cluttered. Some of them feel like they need a little something, but we're going to do this very easily and we're going to do it on a budget, so stay tuned. So welcome to my kitchen. You can see my very white countertops right here. Like I said today, we are going to be styling my kitchen. Now, when we moved in six months ago, one thing that I did not like about this kitchen at all is the cabinets. You can tell they are like a maple wood. I have always had white kitchen cabinets and it is something that I really like. Now, I am not opposed to wood cabinets but this is not something that I would have picked. So it's kind of taken me a while to figure out what I wanted in here. There's a lot more counter space than what I'm used to. We are renting. So I can't paint counters. I can't really change our backsplash, but I did kind of want to spruce this up and mostly just make it more functional. There were some things on my counter that kind of needed to be upgraded. And like I said, a few things felt a little bit cluttery to me. I like to keep things very streamlined, very functional and so that's what we're gonna be working on today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda give you an overview of the kitchen, then I'm gonna give you a small mini haul of the things that I did purchase, and then we are gonna start moving things around and get this place nice and styled. All right, so when you walk into my kitchen from kind of the garage side, this is what it looks like. Now one thing that I did add not that long ago is this rug this is something that i found at target i want to say it was about 25 dollars, which is a pretty good price for a runner like this i needed something with some color and some pattern and then let's see we'll just kind of start on this side over here i actually really like this little setup i just kind of have a crock with my stuff in it things that I use regularly. I'm good with that, but I probably am going to move some of that a little bit. Right here, I have another crock, and then over here, this is the area that I am not really liking. This cake plate I've had forever, I mean, not really forever, but I've probably had it for 20 years, and I broke the lid, and so I've kind of just used it for display, but I feel like it always looks cluttery now there's not a lot on here and it's not really cluttered but i'm just one of those people that prefers things to be way more streamlined than this so i have a solution for that and then over here that's just my sink and paper towels and then over here you can see i kind of just have a really long counter space and i would like for there to be just a little something else here this is where um Usually I dry dishes and they go right here for just a little bit. I like having our fruit right here. This is also kind of our main prep space. So when we do baking and we're cooking and things like that, we use this counter. So I don't like for it to be too cluttered, but I do think it needs a little bit of something up here on this. This is just our bar area. I'm good with just these little placemats. My kids eat right there. I don't like to really keep anything on this other level. We just keep that clear. And then over here, this is the part of the kitchen that I feel like needs the most work. All right, so over here, we kind of have our coffee bar, like coffee station right here. I like our Keurig, it's really pretty. I put it here initially to kind of help disguise some of these like electrical things, we've got plugs, we've got just a blank plate and then her light switch. I don't really care for this coffee canister. Over here, we have like our baking canisters. I've just got flour, oats, and sugar. Those are things that we use a lot. And because of pantry storage, I need to keep those out on the counter. And I do like those just fine because I do like being able to see what's in there. And then we have our beautiful toaster oven, which needs to be cleaned, so don't look in there. But um, obviously I'm not a fan of this being here, but I do believe in having things on the counter that you use every day as long as you keep it kind of at a minimum. 
So what that means for me is like the toaster oven, we use it multiple times a day. My kids use it for lunch. We all use it for breakfast. Sometimes we use it at dinner. So for us, it's important to have the toaster oven on the counter. Now things like my blender, I use it pretty regularly. Most days I do use it, but I do have a spot for it to go in my cabinet. And then also our drip coffee maker, we use it every single morning, but I like to rinse it out, wipe it down, and then I put it in the cabinet every day because I don't want to have two coffee makers out on my counter. Now the Keurig, it holds water. We use it in the evenings. I use it in the afternoons. So that one earns a place on my countertop. So like I said, I like to keep things very functional. I like to keep things out if they earn a spot, but they really have to earn a spot on my counters to be displayed because I like to be able to come through and wipe things very quickly. It just makes cleanup real easy. All right, so one day last week when I decided that I really wanted to kind of just change things up in here and just really get this kitchen super functional and looking like I wanted it to, I went to several stores and I purchased a ton of stuff. I purchased like risers that I thought I might use on my counters to kind of corral things. I purchased a holder to hold some coffee mugs and I took everything back. I ended up only keeping, I think, three things out of all of the things that I purchased. And the reason I'm telling you that is because sometimes we have it in our mind, like if you see something on Instagram or you see somebody's kitchen on YouTube, you're like, oh my goodness, do you see that and that and that and that in the kitchen? And while it may look pretty, and it may be functional for them. Once you get it in your kitchen, it may not feel right to you. So I definitely think it's okay to purchase those things and try them out. I do not take stickers off of things until I am 100% sure that I wanna keep them. And y'all, I'm telling you, I purchased a lot of stuff and I took everything back except for just a couple, like I think three things. So I'm going to do a quick haul and show you only what I kept. All right, so the only three things that I ended up keeping are this black wire basket. It's just a basket that I'm gonna to use to keep fruit in. I ended up finding this at Home Goods and it was $7.99. All right, so the next thing that I purchased is this coffee canister. Now, the reason I purchased this is because I felt like I really needed some black accents in here. We've got a lot of wood, we have a lot of white, and I just felt like I needed some black to kind of ground things. Now, there's not gonna be a lot of black, but I feel like most rooms need some black. And so that's why I went with black, because I knew I wanted to keep the coffee out on the counter. Currently, it is in a just glass canister, and I just didn't really like the way it looks next to the coffee maker. So I found this on Amazon, and I will have it linked down below in my Amazon storefront. But the reason I went with this particular one is because it is one of those, it has like a CO2 valve or something like that, and it keeps your coffee like really, really fresh. This is not sponsored. This is something that I purchased with my own money, but I wanted to tell you kind of why I went that direction. I actually really wanted to get some new canisters, like a set of three canisters to put out on my counter, but I just wasn't finding anything that I like. The other reason I decided not to do that is because this is a rental home for us, and all of the canisters that I found that I did like, they were really expensive, and my personal preference is to have canisters in a pantry, and so because we may not stay in this house very long, I decided that I didn't want to make the investment. All right, so the last thing I purchased is a cake plate. Now I'm gonna see if I can pick it up. This is just the traditional Anchor Hawking glass cake plate that you purchase from Walmart. I think it was 10 bucks. And the reason I purchased it is because I have a cake plate already. It's the one with the blue stand. It's something I've had for a long time. The blue one is one that my mom purchased for me many, many, many years ago. And so I really wanted to keep that one. I have looked and looked for a lid to replace it. I haven't found one. And I knew that it was the Anchor Hawking brand. So I just decided to grab another one at Walmart because um, I do like having my cake stand on display. It doesn't always have treats in it, but sometimes it does. And I like having that out on the counter. And I like that it's kind of a nice big piece 
the cake plate is instead of a bunch of little things. One thing I have learned is that I really like to just have kind of a few big things versus a bunch of just little tchotchkes. All right, I'm gonna take these things out of the box. I'm gonna take the tags off of some things and then I'm going to start rearranging because I feel like I can make things a little bit more functional in here. I don't really like this counter over here because I feel like it just looks like it's stacked with appliances. So I kinda of wanna pretty it up a little bit. So let's see what we can come up with. I think we got enough time to sort out all the fights. Yeah. Sort out of the lies, oh baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know Yeah, I know, no worse, no more, no I got so high on a low That's when I love you the most Now I thought I should let you know Yeah, I know, no worse, no more, no I really thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars But we smashed up all the parts Oh, no, no, no Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are Okay, so I was actually planning to put the toaster oven over here on this side of the oven and then I was gonna move the utensils to the other side but I decided to just try it right there and I do like it. So I'm gonna add one more thing to my haul. This is something that I was really hoping I could make work in here, but when I kind of did a trial run on this, I, um, I did not think to swap these two. So when I just tried it, like I said, I really liked it. So let's add this to the haul. This is a blue and white canister that I found for $10 at Home Goods. And what I'm gonna do with it is use it for treats. So if I have like a candy stash that I wanna hide from the kids or, you know, cookies, things like that, things that are not baked goods that I will keep on my cake plate, I'll stick them in here. And I like the way this looks right next to the toaster oven. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this. And besides, it was only 10 bucks, which is a steal for something like this. Okay, so I moved the canisters over here where we typically use them, and then I went ahead and put my fruit in that wire basket. Wire baskets are just better for fruit. I find that when I had it in my regular bowl, they kind of just went bad a little bit faster, so that's the reason I really wanted the wire bowl. And like I said, I really wanted to bring in some black, and I felt like that was a really good way to do it. So I still kind of need something else over here. So I grabbed this little faux plant that I had in my stash, and then I also have just a blue and white plate that I thrifted a couple years ago. So I pulled this out and I like to just kind of place things on this plate. So I'm gonna stick that over there and see how that looks. Okay, so I like how that's looking so far. The last thing I need to do is address this corner right here where the coffee maker used to be. It's kind of just a big blank open space right now. And one thing that I like to do is I like to always kind of bring in some kind of picture into the kitchen. Now it doesn't work in every kitchen, 
but I think it's gonna be a good fit for this kitchen. So I've got a picture in mind that I think is gonna fit. I'm gonna go grab it, and then I'll see if I need to bring anything else in. I think it's gonna go do a good job of hiding some of these extra outlets and things that we don't really use. So let's do that real quick. All right, so this is just a picture. This is one of my favorite pictures. Sorry, there's a glare on it. This is one of my favorite pictures that I've ever taken of Henry. We were out by the pond, and he was sitting on the dock fishing and it is such a sweet picture. This frame is one that I thrifted many years ago. I, um, it's been painted white, I painted the mat. You can see on the back, I mean, it's got tape and a wire and all kinds of things. But when I put it on the counter, you're not gonna see any of that. Okay, so that was pretty quick and painless. You can see that I was able to cover up those two outlets that were just kind of there. We do use the light switch, but we don't really need that outlet. And if we do need to use it, it would be really easy to just slide that picture. I may come back at some point and paint that frame black, but I decided to add a little bit more blue and white because I didn't have any more blue and white over here. And then I added the terracotta pot. That's a plant that I'm not really using anywhere. I felt like it kind of tied in nicely with my rug. Now my rug is not really terracotta, but I just felt like it worked. I'm gonna try to not make y'all dizzy. And then over here, I really like the just simple black canister for the coffee. We do like to have the canister just kind of out on the counter. We keep all of our K-cups in a drawer, but I felt like the black was just kind of more of a grounding color. There's so many light colors and wood tones that that is the reason I decided to do that. Okay, I'm gonna spin you around over here. All right, so I took everything that was in the other um, crock over there and I combined it into this one it really does fit and so i was able to leave this right here this is just such a cute little spot to me with the blue and white and then here is my toaster oven still not a fan of the toaster oven but it is a necessity and i feel like adding this canister next to it i think i really like it and then over here by adding the cake plate lid it really just made this so that it's just less cluttery. Um, like I said, I will normally have some kind of cake or cookies or something in there for the kids, but I didn't have anything right now, so I just stuck some pumpkins in there, and now that stuff is not gonna get dusty, and I'm not gonna feel like I have to constantly wipe it. And then over here, we just have, you know, paper towels, because those are a necessity. And then you can see, I still have like a big white counter, but I didn't fill it up too much. So I've just got the basket over here for fruit with my little faux plant. I could totally put a real plant there because we do get lots of natural light right here. And then right here is where I decided to kind of just put my canisters. Those are things that we use regularly, and now they're right here where we actually use them. I really like that this counter, like, I feel like it's pretty now. Before, when it had the toaster oven and the Keurig and the canisters, it just kind of felt, I don't know, it just didn't feel pretty, but now it feels pretty, and I think this is super functional now. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little decorate with me. Hopefully you got some ideas or some inspiration for some things that you can do to keep your own kitchen nice and clutter free, but also decorated at the same time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing down below and I will see you guys soon. Thought